Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Voyager Thundercracker showed up from Amazon was, was supposed to show up a couple Mondays ago got delayed showed up a couple days later uh, in a Soundwave box <laughs> if you may have seen like the, the, had the right instructions had the you know obviously the right figure it's packaging with Soundwave so I can't show you his little Thing, but he didn't come with the right instructions. I'm like, they actually sent a replacement because the first one supposedly got lost and I need to return it. It's in a bag, so I don't want to risk opening it and not being able to return it. Maybe it's in the right box. Who knows? It's Schrodinger's Thundercracker. But anyway, here he is. He is a Tetrajet, just like Starscream. Um, and we also got Skywarp from the Phantom Strike Squadron. So just real quick, let's put them like this. There's the main Seekers. I don't have the Rainmakers. Probably not going to get them. Uh, Red Wing, pfft, who cares? Uh, <laughs> these three I wanted to get. Uh, so there's all three of them together. You'll see them all three. Here, here they're all three of them together in jet mode. Uh, when we get to Skywarp's video, I'll promise I'll show them all together in robot mode. Right now, we're just going to focus here on Thundercracker. And he is the same mold as Starscream, so not a whole lot new stuff to go over. Um, his chest piece does seem tend to hang on a little bit better. I haven't really uh, roughed it up any. Uh, or, or I haven't put it through a stress test, but it didn't it didn't pop off transforming him uh, like Starscream where I put the pins in. So uh, hopefully that's something they modified and fixed. There is no pins in this or Star or Skywarp, so I don't think that's a mod that modification that's going to be coming officially from Hasbro. But it does seem like they got whatever kinks uh, they had worked out with the chest plate. But yeah, here he is, Tetrajet. Transform. It transforms exactly like Starscream. Just pop this all open and apart. Untab from the. All right, I gotta get get the chest plate off. Up, oh, see there, there it just popped off the hinge. First time it's done that, but it didn't pop all the way off. It just kind of came loose over on this side. So, still a little better than Starscream. Pop open the wings. This whole thing up. Put his hands, bring his legs down. No, come on, leg. Come on, leg. Oh, you're still attached to the arm. That's why. Do do. -do. Spin it around like a record baby, right round, round, round. Anyway, open up his feet, bring his, lift this up, bring his chest plate down, and as you do that, pops his head up enough to visit. Now he's got a smirk on his face, which really Starscream should have. Some people have already uh, swapped the face plates on theirs. I will probably do the same. I just didn't want to, um, for the review, I like to leave them as stock as possible unless there's just something that absolutely needs to be fixed for uh, to make it work but come on there we go snap that down open up his arms flip his fists out pull that down there put down his little peg here which does fit between the fins here and if we open these up I can't remember if I did an update on Starscream or not, but like there's a couple of slots here that the tab, this piece tabs into in robot mode, it doesn't fold down. So it's all lined up and tabbed in here. Come on. There we go. Sure that slots in there. Pull the wings in. Put them up a little bit if you want. Plug these on, and there is Thundercracker in robot mode. I do always have a little bit of a fondness for Thundercracker. He was the first Seeker I had as a kid. Maybe the only Seeker I had as a kid. Uh, I definitely had him well before Starscream, if I ever had a Starscream. I had G1 Starscream as a kid. I know I've had one several over the years. But I remember I got him the same Christmas I got Optimus Prime and Soundwave, and was super stoked. But yeah. Quick turnaround, blue and red and gray. Nice little Thundercracker. Gonna get that smirk face onto Starscream at some point. And like I said, we'll, we'll see all of them in robot mode in the uh, Skywarp video. But uh, same articulation, Baldwin at the head, dual swivel shoulders, bicep swivel, dual hinge elbow, wrist swivel, waist swivel, dual hinge legs, thigh swivel, hinge knees, and Ankle tilt on the feet, and the toes are a little poseable. So, if you've played it with a seeker, you know what you're getting. 
Uh, it's just different colors and a slightly different face. Happy with them. Glad to have the Seeker Trio. Skywarp next. Thanks for watching.